Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This time we're going to draw a great white shark. Drawing a shark can be a lot of fun. I'm going to make sure that it's also easy for you to do it. We're going to start out with a very simple sketch and we're going to take it from there color by color, detail by detail until we finish the art project. Let's begin by placing your paper in the landscape position or landscape paper orientation. Grab your favorite sketching pencil and rubber eraser and let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to trace a curved line from one side to the other, one side of the paper to the other side. This line will represent the center of our design and hopefully this curved line is going to help us convey the idea of a shark that's moving, a moving shark. Not a shark that is just static or staying there or just frozen or very linear. More than that, we want to draw a shark that, is, that looks pretty much alive, that looks pretty much cool from a cool angle and kind of swimming through the waters and not just standing there in a very straight line. We want our shark to be different. We want a cool angle, like I said, from, from below and, and, and all the way up and also give the idea that the shark is actually swimming. That's the cool part of the drawing that we're trying to do today. The line that I'm going to trace right now is very important because it's not going to look necessarily uh, identical to the one on top. This one is a little different. Uh, it's not going to continue all the way back. It's a little bit slanted because this is the area where we're going to have the shark's mouth. And then we cut there and we trace another curved line all the way back to the tail. Now we're going to go ahead and trace this curved line all the way uh, back here. It says where the tail is and if we want to be specific, we shouldn't be calling it the tail, we should be calling it, I think this is the caudal fin. If we look into the part uh, of the shark, this is what they actually call the caudal fin and back here. And that's what we're going to draw. We can draw a curved line all the way from top to bottom and then, and then try to can attach this uh, this curve line with another curve line to the three curve lines that we have uh, been using for the body of the shark. I'm going to trace a bump up here that is going to be for the eye just to make sure that we get a more realistic type of drawing at the end and also I'm going to add a little bit of a bump or a circle up here in the front where the snout is or you can also call it the nose for the uh, shark but I guess the, the right term is the snout. And now it's time for the famous, famous shark fin. Um, I believe the right term is the first dorsal fin. And well, you know, every time we see this popping out of the water, we know many times that it's a shark. Sometimes we can confuse them with dolphins and, and other animals. Uh, but I think that sharks have a very distinctive 
uh, dorsal, first dorsal fin, and that's what we just drew right there. There's also the uh, second dorsal fin. Uh, sharks don't only have one, they have this second one uh, back there and we're going to uh, trace it as well. Remember, we want to make sure that this shark look as realistic as possible. And um, so we're going to go ahead and trace it back there. Let's go ahead and trace now the pectoral fin on one side and on this side and we want to make it make sure that it's really large so it kind of adds a little bit of perspective to to the shark and we'll trade this one really large and, and the, the other one on the other side a little smaller a lot smaller so it shows a little bit of like I said perspective the shark is right next to us and we can see this this pectoral fin really close to us we're also going to draw the the pelvic fin uh, back there. We can go ahead and out and place a dot here for the eye. We can come back later and, and, and perfect it and add some more details, but at least we have an idea of where the eye should be very close to the snout and a little bit under this bump that we initially drew for it. And we're going to go ahead and, and, and trace now the first line for the, can you guess what it is? Can you guess what we're going to draw now? You guess right. This is time. This is the time in which we're going to trace what a lot of people call the teeth factory. Yes, a lot of people call shark's mouth a teeth factory because they keep on producing growing teeth and. I don't know if you know this, it's, 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 a, it's one of those fun facts about sharks. They do grow a lot and a lot of teeth all the time. They're replacing the teeth constantly and they have several lines, several rows of teeth. It's very, very good at this. Now is the time to take a good look at your sketch and make sure that you're happy with all your guidelines, you're happy with all the shapes that you have preliminary used for your sketch and that would mean that you are good to go you're ready to go to your next step yep sharks are predators and they certainly sit on top of the food chain sharks live in most ocean habitats they're all over the planet which is a great thing I didn't know this one. Some sharks glow in the dark. Wow. At this point, you can use a rubber eraser to kind of lighten up some of the uh, first initial uh, sketch lines or guidelines. And on top of that, you can use uh, the same pencil to darken up the most important lines, or in this case, what we call an overall, you know, outline of your. Uh, initial sketch. A lot of artists like to call this like a clean sketch, like a second sketch that is still not the final work. Uh, it's still at the, at the sketch level, but it's a clearer, um, more uh, tidy up, uh, cleaner type of sketch.
Another very distinctive part of sharks are the gill openings. So this time we're going to trace those and also take this opportunity to somehow uh, sketch away the areas that are going to be darker uh, from the top of the shark from the areas that are going to be lighter at the bottom of the shark. This shark is finally taking shape and looking very, very good. It looks like we are really getting ready for our next step, which is the fun coloring phase of the project. But before that... As a species, sharks are very old. They existed way before the dinosaurs. Sharks do not have any bones. Some sharks go through and end up having more than 20,000 teeth in their lifetime. Let's get ready now to pick up those crayons to color on top of your sketch. We are going to start out with a very even layer of gray as the base shade or foundation for all the other colors that we will eventually end up using as well.
And now it's time to start using a set of colors that are going to help us give the shark a more realistic outlook. These colors, we're going to use them in a very light way. We're not going to darken up too much. But these colors like blues and turquoise and purples are going to help us, you know, add a little bit of the colors that we would usually see reflecting on, on the skin of the shark. The shark is in its habitat, it's in the ocean, and, and those colors are going to definitely have an impact on the overall look of the shark's skin.
we are almost done and we're going to use the black crayon to add shades and contrast all over the shark skin it's going to help us create a more dramatic outlook and of course add realism to our final piece
We are now going to pick up a marker, a black marker to be more specific, and we're going to carefully outline the shark's eye. And finally, a piece of white crayon is going to help us out, adding the speck of shine, a little touch, the final touch of realism that we need for our shark to look alive and well. And this is all, dear friends. I hope you had a great time following along and creating your own piece of artwork, your own great white shark. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. And until the next time, goodbye.